If you have watched this video on this channel, then you might have noticed that this RC car is Bluetooth controlled, which means low range connectivity issues and many other problems. So to solve those, I am making this project. For making this, we will need a car body like this. In my case, I have made this from PVC sheet. I have made this in such a way that there is no need for any external suspension. A motor driver L29810, an ESP8266, battery holder and some jumpers. First of all, we will mount the motor driver onto the car body. Now let's connect the motors to the output of the motor driver. Connect the ESP to the motor driver with the help of these jumpers. The links to the circuit diagram of this project and also the components used in this project are given in the description. Now attach a battery holder to the car chassis. This is a series 18650 battery holder which outputs around 7.4 volt. Now let's program our ESP. Now we need to install the ESP board in Arduino IDE. For that, go to Preferences and copy the link from description and paste it here. After that, go to Tools, Boards Manager. Here, search for ESP8266 and install this. Now we need to install a library called Blink for using Blink application. For that go to library manager. Search for Blink. Install it. Now open your web browser and search for Blink Cloud and create an account. Now log into your account and create a new template. Fill in the credentials. Make sure you have selected the right board. After that go to data streams and create a new data stream as virtual pin and name it. Here I am using the letter F for forward. Keep the rest settings as it is. 
Similarly create for backward, right and left. Now save your data stream and open web dashboard. Click on edit. Here we need to add 4 switches. Now go to the switch settings and again rename the switch. I am using the same name as that of data stream. Choose the respective data stream. Similarly do it for the rest. Save your settings and go to devices. Create a new device from template. Choose your template. You need to copy paste this information on your notepad since we need it while coding. You will find the link to this code in description. Now paste the credentials from your notepad in this code just like this. Now enter your Wi-Fi credentials. After that select the board and port for uploading. And hit the upload button. Now we need to create a mobile dashboard for Blink application. For that, go to Play Store on your Android phone. Search for Blink. Install this app on your device. After installing, log in to your account. You will find the devices you just created. Now select the device and click on this edit button. Here we need to add 4 buttons for controlling the car. If you like this kind of content then this channel is a perfect place for you. In that case, you should consider subscribing. Now go to button 
Volume Settings and choose the respective data stream. your mobile interface is ready as soon as you power up your ESP the device will be active so as you can see our device is activated you can control this car from any place which has internet connectivity now enjoy the video as I test drive with my car suggestions for this video and also the place from where you are watching this video in the comment section in some other video on this channel i will show you how to do live video streaming for this car with the help of an esp32 cam module or a smartphone You can also control it through your laptop or PC.